The Irish Stairs Handicap Chase will kick off day three of week three. It's a four and a quarter mile, naught to 160. Gatler Wall at the top for James Shea. Mayhem on ace, Darren Thompson. Argyle Star, Paul Parsons. Tintin Farrell, Padre Gogan. El Centro, wonderful. Vinnie Gerard, National King, Joshua Sutherland. Stentorian Parade and Black Lord Jack. Jim Murray, Ironical Harold. Graham Clutterbuck, Dark and Tribulation, James Shea. Over to Clover. Padre Hogan, Brit for John Morgan, well done Jeannie for David Robertson, infatuation for Paul Parsons and Alex Cheery. has got the bottom pair, your golf travel com and Bert Brand. And the rain coming down, all ready to go and away we go. This first race on day three, a long distance chase, four miles and two furlongs, some national hopefuls in this and they've all successfully gone over the first of the 24 fences. And the John Morgan front runner, Brit, Pulling for its head. He wants to go quicker than the jockey wants it to as they come into this ditch. A little bit slowly, as did quite a few of them, but they're all over it okay. With Brit, two lengths to the good from Your Golf Travel Com in second. And the grey for Jim Morris, Centurion Parade, and Blackjack Lord is the other one are together. Sharing third place, wide on the track. Paul Parsons infatuation is also close up. All his other one, Argyle Star, is the back marker as they get over the third of the 24. They're all still on their feet, and Britt has got a four length lead. Over the fourth they go, short one to the fifth. They caught thick and fast down this part of the track, and they're all successfully over the first five. And they're starting to get a little bit strung out already with Britt. A good four lengths clear of National King in second. Blackjack Lord has moved upon the inside into third. Then on the far side, Infatuation with the grey Stentorium Parade on the near side is Your Golf Travel Com. Just tucked in behind them is Ironical Harold. Over the Clover is also tucked in that little group, almost hidden with his stable mate Tints in Fire behind. You can just see the black cap. Of the first of the Padre Gogol today, you can see him now as the Alex Cherry was moves a stride or two forward. They get to the sixth, and they all stream over that one as the cameraman is going up and down, making us all a little bit seasick. But it's Brit in the lead, who leads by a good five lengths to Blackjack Lord in second, and then National King third. With your golf travel come over the clover as they come into this ditch, which is number seven. Leader got in a bit close, but still jumped it okay. And the rest of them also all got over it okay as well there. Into three groups really at this stage. With Brit in front, leading by about five to six lengths. They can't pass the winning post then. Two circuits to go in this one. You can see how stiff the uphill finish is going to be in two circuits time. So you're going to need a real stayer to win this. And Brit is currently six lengths to the good. With Blackjack Lord just in second. Then Your Golf Travel Com is third, National King fourth. Then over the Clover and Tints in final with the Grey Stentorian Parade nearest to us. Ironical Harold is tucked on the inside. He's been around for a few seasons. Then Infatuation has just dropped back a little bit. Dakla Wall is next. Then there's a short gap of a couple of lengths to Argyle Star who's made some progress. Then Weldon Genie and Mayhem on ice together with the back three. Dark and Tribulation. El Centro wonderful. And finally Burt Brand for Alex Cherry at the back, but still an awful long way to go. The video is sticking a little bit for me, I don't know what it is for everybody else, so if the comms get out of sync, and I'll be white. And it's Brit, who's in the lead at the moment, leading by four to five lengths to Blackjack Lord second. And your golf travel com is in third, over the Clover. National King, ironical Harold, just on the outside of Tints in Fire Up, around last season as well. And Stentorium Parade for Jim Murray the Great. With Infatuation and Dakla Walt as they head towards the next it's a long run between the last fence and this one. And they finally get to it and they're all streaming over it okay. A little bit slow at the back. Burt Brand is getting just a little bit detached. Looks like he might be more of a five mile than a four mile at the moment. But Brit leads us into this ditch. Which they all get over okay. Blackjack Lord is second. Your Golf Travel Com is third. That won't go much better than his stable companion at this stage. Over the clover on the outside of Blackjack Lord. He's making a little bit of ground. Well, the plain one and Brit continues to lead. They're all jumping okay. Plenty of them giving the fences plenty of respect and plenty of air including the leader there and jump that one 
a little bit slowly they're all over it okay and over the next as well bit of a mistake at the back by El Centro wonderful it's probably the worst mistake we've seen so far in the whole race to be honest as they take this turn and head towards the straight they've still got over two miles to race and Brit is the leader from over the clover in second then Blackjack Lord is third New Gold Travel Con is fourth with National King fifth and Ironical Harold and Tintsin Final Infatuation and Dakla Wall Stentorian Parade has just dropped to the back of that group there's then a gap of two lengths or three lengths to Welder and Genie and Argyle Star then Mayhem on Ice and Dark and Tribulation I say what was one down there something's gone Dark and Tribulation's gone just slightly obscured by the trees as it went I saw something go and it was Dark and Tribulation who's gone for James Shape. Still got Dacklia Wall in there though. But it's Brit who comes into the next one. It's another ditch. Rest of the field get over that one okay. Although El Centro wonderful is starting to get detached as well. Now Bertrand is tailed off and effectively out of it. David Robertson's horse made a mistake there. Weldon Genie. It was towards the rear as well. So passing the stand then. Passing the winning post with one more complete circuit of the track ahead of them and Brit continues to lead by about three lengths to over the Clover and Blackjack Lord National King on the outside going well for Joshua Sutherland then comes Your Golf Travel Com Ironical Harold is after that one then Tintsin Farrell and uh, Stentorium Parade with Dakla Wall there as well still plenty of chances as they head into the final mile and a half and Brit has been in the lead all the way so far continues to lead by two to over the clover Blackjack Lord and National King are virtually together with Young Golf Travel just tucked in behind them the leaders are slowing down a little bit now because the two that were tailing off are starting to get a little bit closer I think they're going to be close enough to play a part in the finish but they're not as tailed off as they were and Brit and this long one to the next Leads by about a length and a half to Blackjack Lord in second. Over the Clover third, National King four, and then Yorngolf Travel Com five. Two length gap then to Ironical Harold Infatuation, who was together, just tucked in behind them. Tints in Fire or Centaurian Parade and Dakla Walk. Then another gap of a couple of lengths to Welder and Genie. Another gap to Mayhem on Ice and Argyle Star is now dropping back again and then a larger gap to El Centro Wonderful and even bigger gap back to Burt Brand. And over the 17th, um, Brit still, still seems to be going well in the lead. And they're coming to this ditch. We'll stream over that one without mishap. Brit's in front still. All the way leader so far. National King though is now moving ominously closer. Joshua Southern horses, he can cause them all national something or other if he thinks they've got a chance of getting to Aintree. Uh, gives us a bit of a clue as to where he's planning to go with them as they get over that one. That was the 20th. And all of a sudden it's now Brit who's under a bit of pressure as they get over that one though. We lost them in the trees again and we lost the horse there. We lost infatuation that went typical. They all fall when we can't see the fence properly. The other one who made a mistake was Alex Cherry's Your Golf Travel Con. But now well done Genie has come from absolutely nowhere. Snuck through the field while we were hiding behind the trees and has now gone four lengths clear. So it's well done Genie in front. Brit is trying to respond. National King is third. Well done Genie's caught these out there with that bit of a turn of foot there. Has she gone a little bit too soon? though there's still three furlongs to go and there's still three fences to get over and it's well done Genie who's now six lengths clear of Brit in second National King going into hot pursuit in second and definitely closing on the leader Argar Star is running on one in fourth that one ran a big race last week and it looks like he's running another one as well but it's well done Genie coming down towards the second last fence then with a lead of six lengths National King is in second Brit's in third then El Centro wonderful is fourth Argyle Star is in fifth as they get to the 23rd 
the second last fence and it's well done Genius clear of National King then comes Brit El Centro wonderful he's back in fourth this is the final fence and well done Genius coming to the end of it the National King is looming on the outside the uphill finish is coming well done Genius trying to hang on but National King is ready to pounce and takes it up and wins it on the line National King wins it by a good three lengths going away well done Genius second Brit hung on well to be third on our star fourth El Centro wonderful fifth then Tints in fire up I'm going to them virtually pulling up across the line didn't quite stay that trip probably a few of them but National King did and we know where that one's going it's another one for Joshua Southern I doubt we'll see that off 119 again well done Genie for David Robertson was second Brit for John Morgan was third and Argyle Star for Paul Parsons fourth with El Centro wonderful coming from the back for Vinnie Gerrard to finish fifth after being virtually tailed off for most of the race and that gives you a feeling that maybe they went a bit quicker maybe most of the field didn't actually stay the trip so you'd be sort of looking, looking at probably the first half dozen there if you were looking at potential national horses